What's up everyone and here is Rory in the bushes sleeping after a big night out at the club. We ended up falling asleep here in the bushes at the back of McDonald's and this is not what we were intending to do. This is not how we wanted the night to end and just realizing how bright it was, how sunny it was, it's actually not the morning anymore. I think it's the afternoon guys which means we've missed the morning training. I can't believe that we've ever missed a training session before, so we get on our phone, we give our dad a text message and a call to let him know where we are and that we need a pickup because he needs to come and get us, take us to the training facility and hopefully there is someone there so we can explain ourselves and uh, try and hope that we don't get punished, hopefully we don't get punished too bad if we do get punished and as you can see here guys now our dad picked us up, we got changed, he bought a change of clothes and we rushed off to the stadium and there is the under 18 manager waiting for us. He does not look happy. He looks like he's about to get on his bike to head off home. And just as we go up the stairs to see him, he does not look impressed at all. And after a quick conversation, he basically tells us that we have been dropped due to our, due to our lack of professionalism, due to not turning up for training getting drunk the night before we tried to explain the situation but he didn't want to hear it he said we need to make better choices so guys the next game coming up it's at uh southampton again they had a cup game in the last episode now we've got them in the league and as you can see we are currently second that they are fourth but he said we're going to be on the bench for that game he has put us back to the bench and he's going to be starting saunders instead of us up front that's going to be putting a bit of a dent in our hopes to become top goal scorer in the league guys and as you can see this is the lineup here for Chelsea's under 18s against Southampton and there is Saunders instead of Akers. How disappointing is that? Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below guys. Is Saunders going to be the first team striker? Are we going to be pushed out of this or are we going to fight for our place and try and get back on and get into the score sheet guys. Here we go with the first highlight of this game. Six minutes played now coming forward. Here's Hutchinson straight through to Saunders. Saunders takes a great touch. Is he going to score straight away as soon as he gets his first start? Yes he is. It's a goal for Saunders in this game. 1-0 up. Seven minutes played and Akers on the bench, he's happy that his team have scored, but he, he's just, he's given away the opportunity to be the first team striker, and then Saunders has gone and scooped up this opportunity and scored straight away, giving Chelsea a 1-0 lead here and impressing the manager with that very first run, very first goal, very clinical finish there from Saunders, and he goes and makes it 1-0 in this game. Very, very unfortunate for Rory Akers sitting on the bench watching this all happen, guys. And we're going to be getting back underway with the next part of this first half. And it's going to be a chance coming forward now, hopefully, for Chelsea. And here we go. Down the left-hand side, Saunders lays it through there to Fafana. Fafana's making a good run with his pace. He's got some really good pace. Can he let to Saunders in the middle? Or is he going to go solo? He takes the shot there. It gets blocked. Trickles on past the goalkeeper, but gets cleared away by the Southampton defence. who managed to just about get it away. Saunders now on the ball once again. A chip through ball there to Fafana who takes a great touch great bit of play between the two of them is Fofana going to make it two yes he is it's 2-0 in this game 32 minutes played and Fofana is scoring another goal in this one to make it 2-0 and an assist from Saunders guys he's playing really really well and Akers just puts his head in his hand on the bench and he just it's just not how he wanted this to go a great touch there great bit of pace from Fofana and a great finesse shot into the top of the, cor uh, the corner of the goal. Not right in the corner, but a very nice finish nonetheless. And if I think Fofana has now pushed tied top or above Rory Akers in the goal scorers as well. So guys, very stiff competition here in this Chelsea team. A chance here for O'Neill, who chips the goalkeeper and somehow gets it in there in the 39th minute. Southampton have clawed one back now to bring it to 2-1 on the scoreline in this first half. A very, very unnecessary goal scored by them. They kind of caught us on the counter-attack. Keeper rushed out to try and grab it, mistimed it and as you can see here guys, the ball over the top here, through to O'Neill, takes one bounce and he heads it just beyond the goalkeeper who came rushing out to try and pick it up and O'Neill reacted well to get that one in the back of the net, 2-1 on the scoreline, Chelsea still one goal ahead but uh, Chelsea coming forward with another chance in the 43rd minute of this game, Saunders laying another great ball there for Chalmers, Chalmers on the ball down the right hand side, tries to lay it there to Fofana but uh, the defender makes a great interception and looks to get it cleared out of the way and it looks like we're about to run into the halftime whistle at the moment in this game guys and unfortunately for Rory he is still on the bench doesn't look like he's going to be coming on just yet in this game if at all hopefully he will get a chance halfway through the second half usually that's when Saunders comes on around the 65th or 70th minute we're going to be getting underway now with the second half of this game Chelsea still 2-1 up and uh, Southampton coming forward with a chance for O'Neill the goal scorer looking to get this one forward he lays it through there to Mata Mata goes clean through he's running on nicely onto that ball he's 
good options on this inside. He lays it there to Leia. Uh, Leva. And Leva goes and scores. And it is what a 2-2 in this game. An instant reply straight out of the halftime team talk. And guys, Leva there for Southampton going and scoring. A very, very nice goal for them. A great bit of play there from Mara laying it central there. Leva taking a bit of a big touch. Capitalizes on it with a nice shot into the back of the net. Pass the goalkeeper. And it is 2-2 on the scoreline. Heading into the 70th minute of this game. Now is Rory Akers going to get a chance in this one. Chalmers there with the shot way over the bar and I think it is now time for Akers to get on the pitch as you can see here Southampton making a substitution hunt coming off and also two substitution Akers and Fisher coming on here for Chelsea and uh uh, Saunders now off the pitch so this is the time for Rory Akers to try and get a goal he's been on for three minutes can he get his goal straight away in this game Chalmers on the ball lays it through there to Akers Akers with the chance straight away and it's in it is 3-2 on the score line and off the bench to make an impact is Rory Akers proving everyone why he needs to be in the starting lineup the number nine here for Chelsea scoring a hopefully game winning goal to make it 3-2 in this one and another assist let's not forget the main man Chalmers he is scoring uh, getting so many assists not scoring many goals but guys a shout out in the comments below if you get down to this point in the video tag the time and uh, like just give give Chalmers a shout out he's doing so well with getting the assist and another chance coming forward now 18 minutes in it's going forward for Akers takes a long shot there hits the crossbar almost making it a double for him but Chalmers goes and gets his own goal and this guy who needs his own shout out he's got so many assists guys he's so underrated some of these Chelsea youngsters are absolutely phenomenal talents we've got Chuck we've got Chalmers we've got Fofana there's so many great players in this team and it's going to be a really great season if we can keep going like this a great header from Chalmers the keeper should have come out and grabbed that but he backed off hesitated and Chalmers contributes to the goal scoring in this game as well as the assisting getting his own goal very well played now 90 minutes third uh the very very last minutes of out of time they're trying to get the header down Walker on the ball heads it there to Hutchinson tries to get a shot away and it's going to be a free kick here on the edge of the boxer Hutchinson getting taken out by the Southampton defense who are a little bit frustrated at this point they're 4-2 down and Fofana has been chosen to step up for this free kick is he going to be able to score this one or is it going to be a miss a hits the wall doesn't quite make it over it takes a follow-up shot and the goalkeeper makes a nice easy save and this game ends in the 90th minute here Southampton to Chelsea for three points on the table for Chelsea a big win one goal for Saunders early on and then one goal for Akers later on in that game guys the two really fighting it out for the first team spot as striker as well as um, Chalmers getting in there really nicely as well as Fofana as well with his one goal guys all the front three playing really well as well as the subs and uh, we're back home now I'm just talking to mum about being uh, put on the bench she's, she's a little bit disappointed in what we did and how we went out and she just pretty much said we need to learn from our mistakes and not do it again we need to make sure we don't go out clubbing we've got an opportunity here to play for the Chelsea under 18s we can't miss it if we mess up now we may mess up the rest of our career so we need to really start focusing and not make these kind of mistakes again and hope that we can get picked again in the starting lineup my mum comes to every single game I play as well as my dad they are supporting us throughout this um, youth career that we've been going on up until right now when we're 18 guys we're about to turn out of the youth stages next season we won't be able to play any more youth football so it's going to be the big leagues next and we need all the family support we can get coming up now in this episode guys it's actually a huge game against Aston Villa they are currently top of the table by two points a win here will see us go top of the table for the first time this season and overtake them hopefully we can get that now guys we're about to head into this game but unfortunately the lineup got announced and uh Akers is still on the bench the performance wasn't quite enough to get us off the bench in that last game or maybe we're just having a few games on the bench as a bit of a, a warning from the management that we cannot be doing what we did and uh, so we are back on the bench for this game guys Saunders starting this one in this game guys this huge game against Aston Villa and a great ball over the top there all the way to Saunders who tries to take a touchdown gets it down but doesn't quite get it away and the Aston Villa defense managed to get this one clear interception here from Walker laying it forward to Chuck Chuck to Chalmers there laying it through to Saunders once again Saunders takes a great few touches shoots across goal goalie makes a great save to deny him here six minutes played now we're into the 24th minute of this game we've got Saunders on the ball once again back to Chuck Chuck looks to take the shot no Saunders takes a shot instead on his left foot and another great save from the goalkeeper to deny him getting his goals that he really desperately needs to stick his place in the starting lineup a great Great interception there from the Chelsea man. Saunders on the ball, waiting for some options. Tries to lay it there. Chuck gets a chip through ball back to Saunders. Saunders takes a great touch. Chalmers picking it up to Saunders. We've got a chance here to go 1-0 up. He tries to take the shot. Gets blocked. 
looks to do something else instead lays it back to Walker who's in the defensive midfield position now spreading it out to Hall on the left hand side Hutchinson on the ball back to Hall on the left we've got a chance to let central there to Saunders who takes the shot and he's been looking lethal in this game guys and he's gone and made it 1-0 here 35 minutes played Chelsea 1 Aston Villa under 18s nil and guys we have taken a very nice lead another great performance from Saunders he's taken two or three shots already he's finally got his goal and a really nice finish that was he's getting really high up there on the goal scoring list as well and why would the manager even think about subbing him off or not starting him with this kind of form we were doing just as well if not better uh, before with with acres but guys the manager's taken out a new a new option and it's working for them at the moment and hopefully we get our chance off the bench in this game once again now coming forward in the 45th minute a great interceptions by Collins of Chelsea and the halftime whistle blows going into the break at 1-0 on the scoreline Saunders with the only goal so far he's had a number of shots he scored one goal and Akers just watching helplessly from the bench as he wishes he was out there getting the goals as well maybe maybe someday soon the manager will actually pick both of us to go up front Rory and uh, Saunders but We'll have to wait and see if we can do that or not. And uh, maybe Fofana will be benched one day. But as then, he's top goal scorer as well. So there's no point in doing that with the way the team is playing. There's no point changing much. A shot there from the Aston Villa striker. Unable to get it on target. Bit of a power shot goes wide. Fofana now on the ball here. Trying to take it round his man. Very good feet there for Fofana. Laying it to Saunders. who's in the middle. 51st minute. And another great save from the goalkeeper to deny Saunders. Once again, he just can't get it past the goalie. Past beyond that one goal. Laying it down there is now Fofana to Saunders. An interception though is coming our way. But Chelsea win it back to Saunders. Back to Chalmers. Chalmers on the ball. Pushing down the right-hand side. Fakes a shot. Pushes forward. Can he get across it? He can to Fofana. And it's in. It's 2-0 in this game. 64 minutes played. And we've taken a very nice lead here another goal for Fofana who cannot stop scoring and I think he is now for sure the top goal scorer in the league guys just a lethal player playing on this left wing cutting inside there once um, Chalmers took the ball wide and then gets a really nice little dink header in at the near post keeper cannot save it and it's 2-0 in this game in the 65th minute hopefully any second now it's going to be time there it is for uh, Saunders to come off and for Akers to come on guys so we got back on up front Akers in the 67th minute can we get a goal two minutes later here can we get an instant reply for Fana to Akers takes the finesse shot and another great save from this goalkeeper who's keeping Aston Villa in this one really well in this game and the defense low managed to get this one clear as we push on up the field 90 minutes here last chance can Akers do something with this one now he hasn't looked too dangerous in this game but he's through on goal can he make it 3-0 he takes the shot and the goalie makes a great save unable to get it in the corner now now in the 93rd minute a tame header by the Chelsea man and we're going to be winning this game very comfortably 2-0 but unfortunately Akers off the bench in the 65th minute was unable to make any more of an impact guys what is this going to mean for the next episode are we going to get picked in the starting lineup are we sticking on the bench until we start performing off the bench a very very tight and interesting positional places this season guys we're out here for a run all this motivation is getting us going. It's making us train harder. It's making us work more. Maybe this is what the manager wanted. He wanted to see a bit of energy out of Acres, a bit more, uh, a bit more energy in training during um, his off-peak time. Because at the moment, Rory is really working hard. You can see we're out here running every single day. We're at the gym every single day, and we go to training several days a week as well, guys. This is the life of a footballer, and this is what Rory needs to do to become a true professional once he gets out of the youth leagues next season, guys. We've got a huge opportunity opportunity to do it coming next season and guys let me know your thoughts down below if you're at this point in the video of where you think we should go next season should we stay at Chelsea should we fight for our place in the first team or should we move on out loan out on loan or should we transfer to another team guys coming up in the next episode we've got a game against Spurs away from home they're under 18s doing okay on the table so far but not the best we are currently sitting top of the table after that win looking really really positive in the league we need to keep this up we need to keep scoring goals and hopefully get our place back in the starting lineup as you can see for a fan of their time top with goals playing one less match than acres as well as that's it for me for this episode and i will see you all in the next one have a great day peace out